This is a new episode of uh, New Game Who Dis. Uh, today, I am doing... What can I think of? Oh, Made of Scare. Uh, Skur. Is it Skur or Scare? I think it's Skur game. I've never played it. Never heard of it. I didn't hear about it until... Um, the end of September when they were doing the uh, advertisements for the Games for Gold... And this is one of the games for gold. It is uh, made of skur. Uh, what I know about this game is that it is a uh, first person view. Uh, sub, sub, uh, not a sub, I don't know if it's considered a survival horror. But it's a first person view horror game. Well yeah one of the unique things is the enemies are sound based so to say. So they're um. I'm guessing that the enemies are blind and that they are attracted to sound so you gotta be as quiet as you can be and also in the cover of the game when it shows it the girl is holding her breath so that's gonna play into effect. I'm not sure if you can actually fight these things off. Uh, it showed a little bit that it sort of seemed like you can. Like you have like a sound device thing to mess with their ears. None but a pure heart can see. Okay, that all of a sudden went dreaded. I don't know what this does. So one for the Grand Hall. Chap. Manager's office. Great Hall. Oh, it makes a sound. Oh, okay then. So that's one of the ways I can distract them. Make a sound and then skedaddle. Yeah, so far this game is very, very slow start. I mean, it has a sort of an interesting concept, but right now it's just uh, not liking it. This is a chapel. I can go in there right away. Hey, there's that thing again. And it's gone. As you can tell already, I'm kind of bored with this game. And I haven't really done anything out. But yeah, it is a very slow game. It does have atmosphere with the sound. Like, you know, like... I'm sure the sound will get intense later on. Resist its song. Okay, cool. But... It's just... Very slow right now. Um, this game has a, it is very atmospheric. Like, there, it has some good sound into it, like, where it's a lot of silence, or very crescendo-like music, and you hear, like, stuff, like, creaking through, like, you know, like, an old creaking house, which does give it a nice, um, atmosphere. <laughs> Ooh, shit. Where'd the other one go? Oh. Right there. Okay. Did I 
let's do this again. Hey, the Kraken key. But it's like, I do love slow burn horror. Like, I love The Witch. Um, I love Midsommar. Um, I still need to see The Lighthouse. And hereditary as well, but it's just like playing a slow burn horror is not thrilling at all. It's like it would be thrilling if they up the tension, but the tension's really not up there. Oh. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't. Okay. Uh, I'm let down by this game. Uh, the trailer did make it look interesting. It has a good atmosphere to it. Um, but it's just not thrilling to play. It's like the AI is... The enemies are easily to evade. Um, it did have some interesting mechanics. Um... The holding your breath mechanic I thought was pretty cool where you can use it to hold your breath to get super close to them but also if there's like smoke or asbestos or chemicals you have to hold your breath so you don't um, get killed by them. There are light puzzle elements but they're pretty um, easy so far so to say and also random like or simple. There's some that I did run into that I can solve, but I'm guessing that's because I don't have the necessary tools in order to solve them right away. So, it's hard for me to give this game a recommendation, just because it's very meh, to, in my opinion. Ah, I can't even say it right. This has been New Game Who This with Made of Scare. Uh, thank you Cryptic Nightmares for showing up again. And thank you, um, I am Devo for showing up as well. Once again, thank you everyone for stopping by. Um, have a nice night. And, or enjoy the rest of your day.